Uh, hey guys, my name's Ludi. Um, I'm a big Pizza Tower fan, and I have been speed running it casually lately. It's been a lot of fun. And uh, Golf is probably my favorite stage to speed run as of now, and a big reason for that is Berg Skip, which is a really cool trick you can pull off to skip a big part of the escape of this level. Um, so I wanted to make a video to show you guys how to do it because it seems like there isn't really a great guide for it out there right now, at least not that I've seen. So I wanted to put one out because it's really not that hard. And uh, I think that a lot of people would have a lot of fun learning how to pull it off uh, because I know I did. Anyway, so obviously it uh, the trick can only be done on the golf level um, and it can only be done on the final course of the golf level. Um, you can do the other courses if you would like, um, or if you're running just the individual level, you can skip the rest of the courses cause they're just for the top ends and you can just go straight to the final course. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Um, and I will meet you guys over there in just a minute. All right. So here we are at the final course. Um, this is the room that we are going to be performing bird tip in, and I will go ahead and enter this room and kind of show you the layout of it. Um, there's a couple enemies in it that don't really matter. Um, you don't have to come out and clear out the enemies first before you perform the trick. Um, I'm just going to do it to make simplify things and make it so they're not interfering with anything. Um, so the grease ball is sitting here. Casually, what you would do is you would hit him over to the right side of the room, and then John is over there, which would activate the escape sequence. Um, and it's really long. Um, so we want to skip that. Um, so basically what we're going to do is I'm going to get rid of this minotaur. And this burger golfer is the guy that we need to keep alive. He is going to help us perform the trick. So um, basically, if you're not familiar with the burger golfers, they hit your ball for you, um, which can be good or bad. And in this case, we it is good because we want him to destroy John for us, um, which will activate the escape sequence and flip the John blocks. Um, if you come back to the start of the room, you'll see there's some John blocks here, um, which casually, obviously, you would be locked out here and you'd have to go down and do the normal escape which takes you through some really long golf courses. Um, basically, what we want to do is hit our golf ball in a way that the burger golfer is going to pick it up and then hit it. And then we're going to grab the burger golfer and hit him into our ball. And our ball is going to end up right here in the nose. And we're going to have the burger golfer in our hands ready to set up. Um, so we're going to reset the room real quick and I will pull off the trick and then I will show you how to do it. All right, so that was a really, really fast um, just me doing the trick. So, and you can see, kind of see how the mechanics of it work. And then basically that's the first part of the trick. And the second part is we are going to set the burger golfer down and make our way quickly back to the start of the room and get to the door um, before the burger golfer wakes up and hits the ball into John and into the goal. Um, so I'm going to do that real quick. And then I will have a second part of the video that kind of shows breaking down how to do the trick. All right. So here we are back at the final course. Um, the main thing that you're going to need to know how to do for this trick is you're going to need to know how to do a grab slide, which is just, you know, you press grab and then you press down immediately. The game teaches you how to do it. It just looks like this. Um, you're going to be doing that on the platform where the grease ball is. So what you're going to do is we're going to enter the room. We're going to get a running start. We're going to jump onto the platform where the grease ball is and immediately perform a grab slide. And it's going to look exactly like this. So after you perform your grab slide, what you're going to do is you are going to run down the rest of the slope and then you are going to grab the burger golfer as he hits your ball. And you will automatically swing the burger golfer into your own ball and hit it into the nose. Um, there are a couple things that can happen and go wrong. Um, and there are ways to mitigate that. Um, you can taunt on your way down, which stalls you just a little bit and gives the burger golfer a little extra time to hit your ball so you're not flying over it. Um, so I'm going to show you how that works real quick, grabbing the burger golfer. And you should get enough speed um, as long as you are holding forward while you're running um, to be able to hit your ball. 
And if you don't do that taunt, sometimes you can land on top of your ball as well, which will give you way too much momentum and you will end up breaking John uh, before your ball gets there, which is obviously bad. All right, so for the setup of the Burger Golfer itself, you have as much time as you want to set this up. Um, it's just once you set the Burger Golfer down, eventually he will wake up and hit your ball into John. So you need to quickly make your way back to the beginning of the room. So jump up here. And you're going to set your the Burger Golfer right on top of your ball, just where I am right now. And you're going to make sure that your Burger Golfer is facing left. Um, I'm pretty sure if he faces right, sometimes he can hit your ball back to the left, which obviously you don't want that. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to set him down just by pressing down. You know, um, You're going to take a couple steps this way, and then you're going to do a grab dash off the platform. That will get you started running in this direction. And... There are a couple of ledges that you need to clear. One's right here, um, and then one is right here. So make sure you're just jumping at the right time, and you'll clear those. And if you have enough speed, uh, you will make it back through those John blocks every single time. Um, so I will go ahead and pull it off one more time. Boom, just like that. As you can see, he activates pizza time, but you're already back in this uh, in this hall, main hallway here, so you've cleared already half of the escape. Um, so what you do now is obviously you're just going to make yourself make your way back to the start of the stage, and if you are really fast, you can beat the stage in under a minute and 30 seconds. Um, and uh, that is about all I have for you guys today. Uh, if you have any questions, please make sure to leave them in the comments if I forgot anything, um, but I think this is fairly thorough. Um, so, uh, good luck, and uh, remember, as long as you don't kill the Burger Golfer, you can just try this as many times as you want. So get some practice in, and don't get discouraged if it doesn't work immediately. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.